Welcome to Dino Madness. This is another video of what I have in these bags here. These are SW Motec um, bags that go on the Triumph Tiger, which I have the um, oh, forgotten already. The frame guards, the top, the top frame guards. Anyway, here's a picture of what they look like on the bike. Here it is now. Okay, so that's what they look like on the bike. Now, I bought these. They're ones for tools. I have a few tools in the panniers, like Allen keys, that sort of stuff. These are the, this one's for the tools. Now, I bought these, so put them on the bike so it gives me more room in the panniers. That's all I bought them for. They give me more room. Now, this is a very heavy one because it's got all the tools in it, right? So what you do is you put that bag on the opposite side to your stand. So when you're lifting your bike up, it doesn't create the weight on the side of your stand. It's actually on the opposite side. So that's why I did it. You can't really notice it anyway. But in this one, what you do, they're roll bags and they just clip on the side here. So we just undo the clip here and how they strap onto the bike, they wrap around the uh, frame, the guards that I've got. So the upper, the upper guards. So let's have a look, see what we've got in here. A pair of winter gloves. little tranny radio little letterman tool a pair of plies you don't know when they can come in handy so we'll stick them back in there transistor radio he's good um because a lot of the places we went we couldn't get signal with our phones to listen to the radio so but we could get AM radio on this little transistor radio. So it's just good to listen to. Uh, I've got a spare gotcha strap. And this one virtually holds the um, first aid kit. Now, this first aid kit cost me... Oh, I'm not too sure. It was over 100 bucks over a hundred dollars and I got this at BM Motorcycles in Ringwood um, this is one of the best kits I've seen around for the price that I paid anyway I don't know how much they are now um, BM Motorcycles in Ringwood they're the BMW people in Ringwood they're on Heverdale Road go up Moondah Highway turn down Heverdale Road and they're just on the corner near the Hungry Jacks so people watching overseas or interstate, you'd have no idea where that is, but um, just look for that. Some bike shops will have them, the adventure bike shops will have them. But roll it out, and this is what you're getting at people's. All this stuff here. I hope you can see that. You get this, the bandage scissors, they're all marked on what should be where sterilized stuff you get a as I was saying you get all the the scissors I mean you just stop recording anyway tweezers um, I have no idea what that is oh, it's like a I don't know what that is if anybody can tell me it's like a grey lead pencil I don't know why anyway you got blankets you got all sorts of stuff in it so this is this cost me hundred bucks, and you got uh, eye wash, snake bite stuff. You've got everything in there. It's bloody awesome, peoples. And I put extra stuff in, Panadol. Oh, while I'm here, I'll take one of these out because I need them. Panadol, Nexium, 
you know, because when you get on the piss when you go camping, I get a bit of heartburn, get a bit of headache. So that's why we've got lots of Panadol and lots of Nexium and Zantac. I tend to get on the piss a bit when I'm camping. Anyway, so that's that one there. Like if we do an open order, I can stick 12 stubbies in the box. And that's with food and stuff, for food for the overnight. But I'll, I'll, I'll call in and I'll buy 12 stubbies. And have 12 stubbies that night. <laughs> I just love my beer. I'm not a piss head. <laughs> anyway, this one. And this is the heaviest one. Let's have a geezer. Let's have a look what we've got in there. Okay. Got all these tools. These are sockets, uh, chain breakers for when Amanda comes with us. Amanda comes riding with me in case something happens to her chain. I have all the sockets to fit the bike, both bikes actually. Um, so that's just that's what I put in anyway when we did that big ride. So I just leave them in there now. So we'll put them over there. What else? Just some paracord. You don't know when you're going to need it. It's in there anyway. Okay, I've got the pump in here and the tools. Now, this is my tool bag. Everybody's probably seen these. They're a roll bag. So, we've got sockets in there. Yeah, so we got sockets and all that sort of stuff uh, in here. We've written bits of pieces, we've valve thing. Um, uh, it's just a bloody little charger thing that I keep in there. Um, a valve tie, valve thing. Uh, spare linkages for Amanda's chain. And I did have some needed steel in here, but I don't know where it's gone. I don't know where that's gone. It always comes in handy, that stuff. I did have some in there. Anyway, so that's the kit. That's the kit, peoples. So there's all different types of sockets for them there. So that's it there. So we'll roll this up and that just rolls up like that. Then Velcro straps. And then uh, again, I got this pouch from um, BM Motorcycles. It's Krager. It's a Krager one. It does a really good job. And I've got my tent drawing in over on the side because it really rained in it. Radio. Ah, there's my needed steel, peoples. It always comes in handy, needed steel, in case something happens. Always comes in handy. So that stays in there. Rightio. We have the bike pump. And I've done a video on this bike pump. It's called the Rocky Creek Design Bike Pump. Um, it looks like it's been made in the back, back, somebody's back shed. It's not as fancy as all the others, but I'm telling you now, this is the best body bike pump I've ever used simple it'll blow up a car tire no worries that is amazing this pump really really good so it's from rocky creek design and um you can either connect it to the battery but if any other bike has got that connection coming straight off their battery you just connect it in but um yeah she does a good job a really really good job i'm quite happy with that and that only costs 50 bucks it only cost fifty dollars. I bought my brother one for, for his birthday. He's got a uh, BMW Adventure. Very nice bike, I must say. Yeah, so that's it, people. So that's it that goes into those bags. They are a pain and pain in the ass to put back on, but um, yeah. So that's what goes in those bags. Alrighty. I'll catch you next time on Dyna Madness.
Stay safe and ride safe. Catch ya.